Well, hello, everybody. This is a beautiful day in beautiful Nassau County, and we are so honored and lucky to have our native son, Billy Joel, with us today. Thank you very much. We also have with us Suffolk County Executive, my counterpart to the east, and my friend, Steve Ballone. Eric Kulaside, Commissioner of New York State Parks, is with us. And we have some of our wonderful senators here. We have Senator Todd Kaminsky. Senator John Brooks. Senator Kevin Thomas. We also have from the Assembly, Assemblyman Stephen uh, Engelbright. And you might not realize, but we are actually in the town of Hempstead, and we have Town Supervisor Laura Gillen. And her counterpart to the East, Supervisor Joe Saladino. Brookhaven Town Supervisor Ed Romaine. And I was told our good friend Jay Jacobs is here. Oh, there he is. Hello. I also have to give a special shout out to Rockville Center Mayor, uh, Mr. Murray. Fran Murray is here. Rolling deep with the Sandell Senior Center. Uh, on his way, if he's not here already, is Policy Director for the League of Conservation Voters, Patrick McClellan. Our environmentalist uh, without match, I probably shouldn't say that, but Adrian Esposito, Executive Director of Citizens Campaign. Hope I didn't offend anybody. We have Mark Eisman, Senior Director of the NRDC. President uh, of the group for the East End, Bob DeLuca. <laughs> Heather Johnson, who is Executive Director of Friends of the Bay. Lisa Ott, President and CEO of the wonderful North Shore Land Alliance. Carl Labou and Kevin McDonald from the Nature Conservancy. Erin McGrath, Policy Director of Audubon, New York. We love our birds. And we have Captain Tony Delernia the Mid from the Mid-Atlantic Fishery Management Council. Tony, you the man. Great to see you. Greg Williams, who is Executive Director of the Hudson River Sloop Clearwater, Inc. And I see we have county legislators from both counties. We also have labor leaders, other elected officials, and community leaders. Thank you all so much for being with us. So I might be the least interesting person you're going to hear from today, so I'm going to keep it very short. <laughs> Look around. This is, thank you. this is precisely why we are here, to preserve our beautiful waters, to take care of all the critters we share this gorgeous earth with, and also, not for nothing, helping our property values and spur economic development, help our economy here on Long Island. Uh, the governor is a champion for us in so many ways, and the way that I will be specific about today is about the environment. He doesn't just talk about it, he does it. The governor was here on Long Island last week to sign the bag bill, the plastic ban bill. And today, well, I'll let him break the news. Um, and it is absolutely my honor and my pleasure to invite up to the podium our governor, Andrew Cuomo. Thank you.
Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first, what a day, huh? With the sun and to be at Jones Beach. I was thinking on the way down, Jones Beach for me, it was the beach. We're going to the beach. I didn't really know there were alternative beaches at that time. It was just the beach was Jones Beach, and it is beautiful. Let's give a round of applause to all the people who work at Jones Beach and have done so much. To Laura Curran and Steve Ballone, let's give them a great round of applause and thank them for their leadership. To Long Island's own Mr. Billy Joel, who is now I'll tell you what I love most about Billy, that he, he is now, he's an international icon. It's amazing uh, how his music has just communicated to more and more people, and the more it communicates, uh, the more loved it is and the more popular it is, and what he means all across this country, what he's doing in Madison Square Garden. But what I love about him is with all the fame, with all the acclaim, with all the success, he never forgot where he came from, and he never forgot what matters. And he is a Long Island boy, and he loves Long Island. He is always there for New York and for Long Island. Today, today's message is simple, and it couldn't be at a more appropriate venue. Uh, this country is in the middle of an economic uh, transition and, at the same time, an environmental crisis. Uh, we have a climate change crisis. We see it all across this country. We see it all across the globe. If you turn on the TV, if you look at a newspaper, you've seen it over and over and over again. Climate change, extreme weather, it is a reality. And it's getting worse and it's getting worse and it's getting worse. If you don't recognize that, I think you're now living in a state of denial. And denial never works. You never solve a problem you are unwilling to admit. That's true for government. It's true for life. Unfortunately, we have a federal government that perpetuates the state of denial. Not only are they denying what's happening with our environment, they are actually aggravating the damage that's being done with our environment. You have a president and administration that looks out at the world and says, we have no climate change issue. We have no environmental issue. And as a matter of fact, wants to double down on fossil fuels and the very sources that created the problem in the first place. You see it when they pulled out of the Paris Accords. You see it what they want to do with the energy standards, just over and over again, denying the problem. You've seen it here on Long Island, their proposal to allow dumping of dredged materials in the Long Island Sound. We spend decades trying to clean up the Long Island Sound. They want to allow dredging again. And what is one of the really outrageous proposals, which is to allow offshore drilling. They want to open 90% of the coast of the eastern United States to offshore drilling. Even after everything we've gone through, after finding out the hard way over and over again that accidents do happen and some accidents are uncontrollable and irreparable, they want to do offshore drilling. And today's bill, and I want to thank Senator Kaminsky and Assemblyman Engelbright for sponsoring the bill. Today's bill Today's bill says no how, no way are you going to drill off the coast of Long Island and New York. It's not going to happen as long as we are in charge of this state. Thank you. And it's, as Laura said, it's one of the steps we are taking, because this is going to require a bold and an aggressive agenda on behalf of the state of New York. New York has to lead the way 
as an alternative to what this federal government is doing. Let them continue denying. We're going to admit the truth, admit the reality, and we're going to show that you can actually address it, but that we have to address it. And that's what the New York agenda is all about. That's what the most aggressive goal in the United States of America to transition to renewables for electric production, elect production of electricity by 2040 is all about. That's what today is all about with the offshore drilling ban. That's what the plastic ban, uh, plastic bag ban bill is all about. That's what the Manhattan Protection Bill is all about that was signed. Thank you again, Assemblyman Engelbright. That's what the Bay Park sewage treatment plant is all about. That's what cleaning up the Grum and Plume is all about. That's what partnering with Steve Ballone in Suffolk County to reduce nitrogen with a real, real sewage system is all about. That's what our shellfish restoration program is all about. The larger, largest artificial reef program in our state's history is all about. The federal government is continuing denial. New York is showing the way forward and acting aggressively. And that's why I'll end where I started. It's so appropriate to be here at Jones Beach because it reminds us of what New York has done in the past and what New York needs to do in the future. I took Jones Beach for granted when I was a kid. We just came. My grandparents took me when I was young. And then when I could drive, I came myself. But this was the beach, and it was beautiful, and it was here. And I never really thought of how it got here or what it took to make it. But now you understand the true history that is New York, the legacy of what New York is. And yes, we're going to have our hands full battling back on this environmental agenda. But look at how they built Jones Beach. First of all, there was no beach here. This was Robert Moses in one of his more audacious acts. The state didn't even own the land. There had to be a referendum passed locally to transfer the land to the state. The referendum lost. Moses came back again the next year. They ran a second referendum, and it passed to transfer the land from the towns to the state. Problem two was there was no beach. This was all swamp. It was all wetlands. Moses had to build the beach seven miles 14 feet of fill is what Jones Beach is. They brought in 14 feet to raise it and seven miles long. It was the dredging from the state boat channel that created the beach while they created the channel. How bold, how aggressive to find out how to transfer the land, to have a referendum to lose, to come back, to run a second referendum, to win, to put the state in a position to build the beach, but you then have to build the beach. And if you ever said, we're going to build seven miles of beach, 14 miles high, they would say, 14 feet high, they would say, what are you kidding? No way, it's impossible. But New York says, yes, there is a way. And we don't take no for an answer. And we are going to lead. And we have no alternative because that's who we are and it's how we made New York, New York. It is that spirit that Billy Joel celebrates in his songs a hundred different ways and is communicated to the nation and communicated around the world. It is that essence of being a New Yorker that you can't bottle and there is no formula, but it is special. And we do it over and over and over again. So did we invest $65 million in Jones Beach? Yes, yes, to bring it back to its former glory, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Cost Governor Al Smith $15 million to make Jones Beach in the first place. 
which was unheard of. And they said they were going to get it done in five years, and they actually got it done ahead of schedule. That's New York. That spirit will show the way. We'll do it over and over and over again, and we're going to do it again today when we sign this bill. With that, let me ask my friend, for whom we both create a great service today, because today is not really about us, right? I enjoyed Jones Beach. I'll come out a few more times, have a few more times to enjoy it. But more today is about making sure Jones Beach is here for our children and for the next generation and for my daughters and for my goddaughters. That's what today is all about, to make sure we leave this place a better place for them. The Native Americans have a beautiful proverb that sums it all up that says, we did not inherit the land from our parents. We are borrowing it from our children. And our job as parents, as citizens, as human beings, pass it on better than you found it. That's what today is all about. And Billy Joel has dedicated his life to making Long Island and New York and this world a better world to pass on to his children. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Billy Joel. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. First, I want to thank my good friend, Governor Andrew Cuomo, for inviting me to join him for the signing of such an important bill. The governor and I have spent a lot of time together over the years, some on our motorcycles for the 9-11 ride from Rescue One. He helped me celebrate my 100th show at Madison Square Garden, and he's even godfather to two of my children. But I think I speak for both of us when I say that our time out on the water off the Long Island shores was the best. I grew up and I live on Long Island, and anyone who lives here knows how incredibly special our beaches and our water is. I wouldn't live anywhere else in the world. And I can, but I won't. And I know that if anyone tries to damage these shores or this water, my good friend Andrew over there will do everything he can to say no way, no how. I'm proud to be here today to tell the people down in Washington if they think they would do anything to poison these waters or damage these shores, they got another thing coming. So thank you, Governor, for maintaining the natural beauty of our state and continuing New York's legacy of environmental leadership. And thanks to all of you for your concern regarding this issue. Thank you very much. Please welcome Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone. Thank you very much. It is great to be here. I want to thank everyone uh, for coming out today and for your support of this uh, initiative. Great to be here with my good friend, County Executive Laura Curran, uh, here in Nassau County. I want to thank my colleagues who are here uh, as well from the Suffolk County Legislature, Rob Calarco and Kara Hahn and Kevin McCaffrey. But Bridget Fleming, I want to say, has been a leader in Suffolk County in fighting back against this insane idea to drill offshore. So I want to thank her for her leadership. First of all, I don't know how I got this position to follow Billy Joel. Um, thank you, Governor. Um, but I will tell you, I, I have been to many, many, like, all of you, many Billy Joel shows over the years, over the last 30 years, usually in seats up around there. Um, but if you would have told me that someday I would be on a stage at Jones Beach Theater closing out for Billy Joel, I would have said, <laughs> I would have said, what a great country we have. <laughs> Not bad from a kid from North Babylon. <laughs> um, it is... Uh, a privilege and a pleasure to be here today because the governor is exactly right. This is about our future. You know, uh, we had a lot of people in the past who worked hard to build the future we have and that we enjoy today and to protect it. It's, an our, it's our obligation to fight back against what is happening down in Washington today. And I talked about before the governor's leadership here 
in fighting back from what we've seen, uh, unfortunately, from our federal government. And there's been an absence of leadership on a lot of issues. But in this case, it's not an absence of leadership. It's actually leadership in the exact opposite of direction of where we need to be going as a community, as a country. And Governor Cuomo is standing up and leading the fight. And for Long Island, there is no other more important issue than protecting this environment. It is everything for us. It is why we're here. It is our quality of life. It is our economy. It is tourism. It is everything. And I thank my colleagues, Senator Kaminsky and, and Assemblyman Engelbright for their leadership. Uh, but this is a great day. And Governor, thank you once again, as you always have, for being out front and for fighting for us here in Long Island and in New York. Let's say we sign this bill. Governor, what do you say? Thank you very much. I'll never get a chance to say that again. <laughs>